What's going on guys? Hope you all had a great weekend. Uh, we're out trying out Aylin's new stroller for the first time. Stroller? It's not stroller, wagon. wagon. I don't know what I'm talking about. What do you think, Aylin? Hey, Aylin. 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 Alan. 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 Shout out to Peace Pranks, Knickknack87, and Marcus Viney for commenting on the last video. Appreciate it, guys. Today, I am gonna show you guys all of the camera gear that I make, or that I use to make all of my videos. By the way, I know you're, you're if you're here, you're probably wondering why there's not a build series video today. That'll come out Wednesday. So if you're just here for that, you don't care about anything else, I'll see. Are you sad? Aylin's upset. She's like, no build series video? Dad, what's up with that? I know, I'm sorry. But it'll be live on Wednesday so you guys can uh, come back and check that out. But today I'm showing you guys all the camera gear that I use to make all of my videos, whether it be drone shots, uh, moto vlogging, vlogging stuff like this. All of that is gonna be in the video today. So first up we got the uh, camera that I use for everything off the bike. This is the Sony a7R Mark II. They just came out with the Sony a7R Mark III, which has uh, 1080p, 120 frames per second, which is something that the a7S, which a lot of people mainly use for video, had already. They brought it to the a7R. Now, the reason that I got the a7R over the a7S, uh, I'm, there's a lot of reasons, but primarily, I wanted something that could do photos and video really well. The a7S has a pretty low megapixel number and it's meant mainly for video work, but the a7R does great video, but it also does really, really awesome photos. All the posts that you see on Instagram, those photos that I edit, those are all taken with this camera, the a7R. And you guys can let me know, but I think I can uh, say for certain that they're pretty darn good photos. Now, other than just the camera, you're probably wondering what lens that I use. Uh, right now, I'm using the latest lens that I got, and that's the Sigma 18 to 35 f 1.8. Awesome, awesome lens. Uh, but there's a few things to note about it. It's a crop sensor lens, and the A7R is a full frame camera. So you're gonna have vignetting that you have to crop in on. The cool thing about the A7R, though, is it works really well with crop sensor lenses because you're able to use Super 35 mode. What that is, is it essentially uses a cropped area of the sensor for video, and it can get higher quality. That's great with a crop sensor lens because it's gotta do that anyways. The only disadvantage with that is that for photos, since it does have to crop in, your actual megapixel count is gonna be a lot smaller. But that's not a huge deal. I got this lens mainly for video, but it still does great photos with the a7R because the a7R has 42 megapixels. Now, for actual vlogging, I'm still using the Sigma lens right now, but something that you haven't noticed is it has a little bit of focus noise. And the reason that it, uh, you can't hear it right now is because I have it set to manual focus, so it's just locked in right now. Uh, I just ordered a attachable microphone, an external mic for the camera. So that should solve that problem and we won't have any focus noise. But right now, if I wanna use this while I'm vlogging, I just set it to manual focus. Now switching to a different lens, this is the one that I've had since I bought the a7R. It's the lens that I've used 95% of the time that I've used this camera. And it's the Sony 28 millimeter f2.0. Now there's a lot of great reasons to get this lens and why I got it, starting with price. It's one of the cheaper lenses that you can get that's a native sodium lens it's only $450 which isn't super super cheap but when it comes to lenses it, it, it kind of is cheap but it's not cheap in quality it's really really sharp the 28 millimeter is a pretty good focal length for arms length of logging um, I'd prefer something a little bit wider but 28 millimeter isn't bad and the f2.0 aperture is really nice uh, for getting that buttery smooth background, whether it be just for video or for photos. And one of the biggest reasons to get this lens is it's stupidly light and stupidly quiet. There's no audible focus sounds. You're never gonna get any sound whether you're using an external mic or the internal microphones, which I always used. And if it's a camera that you're gonna be carrying around a lot, the lightness of this lens is a huge win. And there's two more things to go over for the general vlogging setup that I have. Uh, one, 
There's these uh, little fur covers that you can stick on the microphone. I use those both on this camera and a camera I'll show you in a few minutes here, just to get rid of any sort of wind noise without having to add an external microphone. And of course, the Gorilla Pod. Now the one that I'm using was the top of the line Gorilla Pod that they had at the time. They have a new line of them that covers all the different weights that you would have for different cameras. Uh, but I think this one is kind of in line with the 3K one that they sell now. Now when I'm not using that camera for vlogging, I use this one. And this is the Sony RX100 Mark IV. They now have the Mark V out, uh, which doesn't really improve a whole lot. Um, it's same form factor as all of them have been for years now. This is awesome. This is the first camera that I got for vlogging. It's a point and shoot. You can fit it in your pocket, but it has a really nice size sensor. And uh, honestly, for a lot of people, you can't tell the difference using this compared to using the A7R. There is a difference, but the quality on this is so good that if you use it, no one's gonna think that you have a bad camera. It's got a folding screen so you can always see what you're doing, something the A7R does not have. Uh, so that's really, really nice. If you're looking for your first vlogging camera or something like that, or something that's just super, super versatile, still get great photos, still get awesome video, uh, the RX100 is probably your best bet. Yet again, got my uh, fur covers, same ones that I use on the A7R, make a pretty nice difference. Now, although I have the A7R now and I use that the majority of the time, uh, whenever I'm doing something where I wanna be able to save space, just throw something into my pocket, uh, I use this. Great for rides, if I don't wanna carry a backpack, I can just put this in my pocket. So again, Awesome camera right here. Now next up we have the drone that I use and this is the DJI Mavic Pro. I used to have a DJI Phantom 4 which was awesome, outstanding quality. Uh, but the only thing that I didn't like about the Phantom 4, although it's a lot smaller than the Inspire that they sell, which is like their kind of professional, super big, uh, uses actual interchangeable lenses, that drone, um, it's smaller than that one, but it still was not super, super small. This, is the Mavic Pro. And it's not the smallest drone that DJI sells. They now sell the Spark, which is technically smaller, but uh, for what you get, I like this one a lot more. Uh, this one I think retails for about 900 and I think the Spark is 500. But although the actual body of the Spark is smaller than this, you can't fold in the uh, propellers. So here is uh, with everything folded out like this. And so by this size, it's bigger than the Spark. Uh, but the quality that you're gonna get out of the Mavic is a lot better than what you can get out of the Spark. This one has, I believe, the same sensor size as the Phantom 4. So you get a lot of bang for the buck with this one and you can just toss it in your backpack, everything's protected, and you don't have to worry about anything breaking. Really, really awesome. The other thing that I like more about this one over the Phantom 4 is the controller. Uh, it folds up super, super small. The one for the Phantom 4 is basically, I don't know, probably three, four times the volume of this. This guy can fit in my pocket. Awesome, awesome drone. Now, probably the camera that uh, the majority of you guys have been waiting for. This uh, is my motovlogging helmet. This is the helmet that I use, it's a Shoei RF 1200, and this is the camera setup that I have for all of the vlogs that I do when I'm out on my bike. I'll have all of this linked down in the description if you wanna see any of the cameras, check them out. Uh, if you use the links that I have for those, I'll get a little commission off of all of that. Even if you don't buy what's linked, you guys still help me out and it's no cost to you guys. Now, this is the GoPro Hero 5, not the Hero 6, I did a review on the Hero 6, didn't think it was better. Honestly thought the Hero 5 was a little bit better for my use case, so I kept the Hero 5. I know a lot of people still like to use the Hero 4 Silver or Black for motor vlogging just because you don't have to use this new microphone adapter. But I have mine mounted to the outside of the helmet with uh, some 3M tape, the same exact kind that they use for the GoPros. Never comes off. You guys have seen how fast I've gone on the, on the bike with this, and it's got no problem. The only thing that I do like about this is that it incorporates uh, a USB port along with the headphone jack. So if you wanna power your GoPro while still using the microphone, this adapter will let you do that. But I made a whole video of this entire GoPro setup when I had my Hero 4 Black. Nothing has changed except for swapping in the Hero 5 with the Hero 5 frame um, along with the microphone adapter that I have mounted on the side. I still use the same mounting right here because there's a little lip on the front of the Shoei RF1200, as you can might be able to see right there. Uh, so you can't mount a GoPro mount directly on the front. So what I've done here is I've actually used a couple pieces 
uh, from the side mount and the front mount. I think GoPro doesn't sell these specific kits anymore, but if they do, I'll link those down below. But the reason that I use these is so that I can mount the uh, actual GoPro mount on the side where it's flat, and then bring in the GoPro to the very front so it's centered on the chin, which I think is the absolute best place that you can have a uh, GoPro mount on a helmet. Uh, I use a Sony microphone. I'll link the exact model number down below. Great quality. I think I need to replace mine because I've had it for a few years and I think with all of the wind and all of the uh, rain and stuff that I put it through, I think the quality is a little worse than it was when I got it. It was top notch. I've been through probably 10 different microphones and this one was the best one that I've ever used. Uh, so take that for what it's worth. Have it mounted on the front, have the adapter out the side, then the microphone inside to the front, and mounted up here with uh, some tape underneath the chin with a uh, little fur cover. Again, something else off Amazon, eliminating wind noise. Great, great use. Uh, so I'll link those little fur covers down below. It's not the same ones that I use for my A7R or the RX100. Um, but it accomplishes the same thing. So that's it, that's everything that I use for all the videos that I make, or all the camera equipment that I use uh, to make the videos that I put up on the channel, whether it's on the bike or off, up in the air, doesn't matter, should cover it all. If there's any questions about any of the stuff uh, that you guys have, leave them down in the comments. I'll be keeping an eye on those for the next day or so uh, to see what questions you guys have and I'll do my best to answer those. Uh, again, all of that stuff will be linked down in the description if you wanna check out any of it uh, and help me out with the channel. You guys are awesome. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Doing daily uploads, these are the kinds of things that I normally wouldn't do if I was only uploading two or three times a week, uh, but this kinda gives me the chance to upload stuff that may not be quite specifically in line with all the other videos that I make, but I know a lot of you guys really wanna see this kind of stuff. So if you enjoyed it, hit that like button, guys. Subscribe if you're not subbed already. I'm Onanasi, remember life's better with horsepower. Keep life lived, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.